What on earth is gypsum? In fact, it's something you find on the earth in certain places. It looks like this. It's a naturally occurring mineral and it forms these beautiful crystals. Or it can. It can also form these beautiful needles. It comes in different forms. Even like these panes of glass. Actually, that looks like, looks like rather scratched glass because gypsum is very soft. You can scratch it with a fingernail. I'll do that here. You can see it uh, leaves its mark. So it's not very hard at all. But it's very interesting because if you take a crystal like that and cut it across, you find it gets its name herringbone crystal or herringbone gypsum from the form of the crystals inside, which are like a herringbone. Well, that's uh, a series of forms of gypsum. The one you've probably found is this. You've probably used it. It's plaster of Paris. Or it starts as plaster of Paris, turns into gypsum once it sets. And the process is really like this. If you take uh, gypsum and heat it, this is a fairly fierce heat. You'd only use 120 degrees normally. But if you take that little bit there, which looks like gypsum and is, put it in the flame for a while, you find that it changes its form. As it heats up, there's water bound into those crystals there. That's given off and it leaves the crystals changed. They come out as a sort of white, powdery substance. That'll probably do it. We'll just turn that off and shove it on the disc and see what's happened. You see, the whole end of that has gone white now, and if I scrape it here, it comes off as a white, flaky powder. In fact, not at all unlike the powdered plaster of Paris that you buy in the hardware shop, which is just gypsum with all that water removed by heating to 120 degrees. Well, if you mix that by adding it to water, and that's the right process with plaster, add the plaster to the water, not the water to the plaster, it comes out, or it really sets into a sort of, uh, it starts off as a creamy mixture, and that just gets thicker and thicker till it sets. You'll notice if you're holding it, or if you use a thermometer and plonk it in, that the temperature rises. Because if it takes temperature to drive the water out of those crystals, when you put the water back in, the whole thing gives off temperature, which is why if you've ever had a plaster put on a limb, you notice that it gets warmer as the, uh, the plaster sets. It's turning from plaster of Paris back into gypsum. And as it does so, it swells a bit. So if you're making a mould or a cast of something, it's very good stuff because it forces its way into all the crevices, fills them up and makes a very accurate cast. So when you add water to plaster of Paris, you not only get a model, you're making gypsum. Music